Hello, today I will answer a question that someone asked about this quiz program. Here's the question. Sean Hankey wants to know if the program could ask at the beginning how many questions the user wants and then only ask that many questions. He has 50 questions, I have three. And then he wants to have it present a list of which questions need more work. Okay, so we need a way to just show a subset of the questions, keep track of the wrong answers, and then show the wrong answers at the end. So let's see what we can do. How can we get a subset of the questions? Well, we want a subset of a sequence more generally. The questions are a sequence. Uh, a list is a type of sequence. Let's say we have a sequence of numbers like, uh, like this. and we just want the first five. We can use a slice, which works like this, and now we have the first five. And if we had a variable, then we could do that type of thing. So we're gonna have a variable that contains how many questions we want, and we'll use that variable in a slice operation, which is just, uh, in this case, the a colon followed by how many we want. And this is five, it gives us zero, one, two, three, and four, which are the first five. First, let's ask the question of how many questions we want. So we'll say, um, questions gets input And the answer is going to be a number, so we'll convert it to an integer. And then we will use the slice operation like we talked about. And we need to keep track of which ones are wrong. So let's say wrong, and that's a list, an empty list. And when things are wrong, we'll add to the list. And what are we going to add? We're going to add the question to the list. And at the end, we want to say you got a certain number right. And let's just say, and the following wrong. Then we'll set up a loop. And that should display all the wrong answers. Let's see if this works. Let's say we want to have one question. And what family of instruments the piano? X. No, the answer is percussion. You got zero right and the following wrong. And then it lists the one that I got wrong. Good. Let's try it again with more. I can put a number too big and it doesn't do any harm. How many beats are there per measure in 2 4 time? Well, there are two. Uh, let's get this one wrong, and let's get this one wrong. So now it says you got one right and the following wrong, and then it lists the ones that are wrong. Let's take a look and see if we did what, what was asked, and I believe we did. Hope that helps.